Midtrans Payment Gateway is an extension for WP Travel Engine that allows tour operators to accept trips and tour payments via Midtrans, one of Indonesia's popular merchant services. Midtrans Payment Gateway works only in Indonesia with Indonesian rupiah currency. In this video, I will show you the entire installation and setup process of the Midtrans Payment Gateway add-on. Please note that Midtrans Payment Gateway requires the WP Travel Engine version 3.0.6 or later installed. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Navigate to Plugins and click on Add New. Click on Upload Plugin. Click on Choose File. Select the zip file that you downloaded. Click on Open. Click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. And the plugin has been installed and activated. Next up, go to WP Travel Engine. Click on Plugin License. Enter the license key that you received during the download of the add on. Your license key looks something like this. Click on Save Changes. Now, click on Activate License. The license key has been activated. The main idea behind activating the add-on license is to receive regular updates from our team. Now, I will show you how to configure the redirection URLs. Redirection URL is used to redirect your customer after the payment process through Midtrans is completed. To configure your redirection URL, you have to first of all go to the Midtrans map portal and save the URLs as set on the settings dashboard. So first, let's log in to the Midtrans map portal. I will go to the new tab and log into Midtrans map portal from here. Add in the login credentials. After logging in to the Midtrans map portal, go to settings, then click on configuration. Now, go back to your dashboard. From under WP Travel Engine, go to settings. Go to Payments, select Midtrans Payment. Here, you will find the Midtrans redirection URLs. You simply have to copy each of these URLs. Simply click on this copy icon. Then you have to go back to the Midtrans Map Portal account. And you have to paste the URL. So what I have done here is, this shows the payment notification URL. From the dashboard, I have copied the payment notification URL by clicking on this copy icon. Then I have gone back and I have pasted it here. Following the same process, you have to keep on copying and pasting the URLs that are set on the settings dashboard. Now, click on update button. So the work here is done. Now I will log out and cross the tab. Now, from under Midtrans Payment, you are required to add in your Midtrans Merchant ID, your Midtrans Client Key, and your Midtrans Server Key. So let's fill in the requirements, starting with Merchant ID. You have two more options, that is to enable 3D Secure and to enable Safeguard. You can check into both of these options 
if you want to enable 3D secure and safeguard options. After you are done, click on save and continue. Now you have to configure Indonesian rupiah as the currency. So go to miscellaneous. Then from payment currency, you have to select Indonesian rupiah. Simply click here. You can search for the Indonesian rupiah from the search bar and you can select the currency once it appears. Scroll down, click on save and continue. There is one more step that is scroll to the top, go to the payments once again, then go to payment general settings. From under payment gateways, you have to make sure that Mitrans payment gateway is selected. If you want to set Mitrans as the default gateway, then you can do that from here. After you are done making the changes, click on save and continue. Now let's go to our side in the front end. Now when a user books a trip from your site, And proceeds to checkout. After filling in the checkout details, they will have the option to select Mitrans Payment Gateway as the payment method. Let me quickly fill up all of the details here. Then upon clicking the pay button, the user will be able to make the payment with multiple available payment methods. So that was it. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in our next video.